As he started getting strapped in, I noticed that two other customers who had been booked for the same ride were looking at Heath and snickering. I had already explained to them that we were accommodating an overweight customer, so this behavior was completely inappropriate. So before we headed out, I decided to give them a talk. Can I ask what's funny about what we're doing here? There's three massive balloons ha attached to a man right there. I mean, this is the only way he can ride a horse. Would you laugh at a wheelchair? I mean, that's a medical device he's wearing. OK. You're 100% right. Right. Just because he's a larger man and hooked up to giant helium balloons, it doesn't mean, It's not me? funny at all. <laughs> right. Because if I see either of you so much as smirk from this point forward, your ride is over. Got it? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. With the normal riders promising to be respectful, and Heath now weighing in below the 220 pound limit. How's it feel? Good. You feel, feel lighter? Yeah, I feel light. I feel good. It was finally time for everyone to saddle up, so the ride would begin. Great. And I watched as for the first time in history, a plus sized man was able to ride a horse. With my branch blockers trailing close behind and the flying scarecrow overhead, I felt that we were ready for anything Mother Nature could throw at us. And it wasn't long until my balloon protection system was put to the test as my branch blocking team raced into position to guide Heath through a narrow clearing. And all we could do now was pray. The system worked flawlessly, and for the rest of the trail, tree after tree, my team was able to keep the delicate balloons intact, making the ride a success.